Hi friends, I'm here with a yoga offering. This is gonna be some self-massage techniques using one of my favorite tools, two tennis balls in a sock. Very easy, simple, just grab two tennis balls, find a sock, a children's sock works better or a small sock. Um, get them in there nice and tight and tie a knot and then you're ready to go. Um, so as with anything, please, do what feels right for you, listen to your body. If something I'm offering doesn't work, don't do it. Uh, I've been using these for like 20 years. I don't go anywhere without them. I love them and I've introduced them to many people who have um, found great benefit and some people it just doesn't work for. So um, if it doesn't work for you, then sorry, you gotta find your own thing. Um, one thing that is helpful is to have a snug fitting top because we'll be doing some stuff on our back and if your shirt bunches up it can be a little annoying. So have a more slim fitting shirt. So we're going to start um, with the feet and for this one tennis ball works even better but I've just got these so I'm going to use my two tennis balls. And you just take one foot and can rub it on the ball and just explore different parts of your foot. So the ball of your foot, the arch, the heel. They do sell firmer balls for this type of thing, but I find tennis balls to be pretty easy and often you just might have one about. So rubbing the foot in all different ways. You can do both feet. Feel free to use a piece of furniture if you need for balance. might hang out with steady pressure on different parts. And then we're gonna come to sitting and do the calves. So if you take the tennis balls at the calf and you can have your hands on the floor if you're able, kind of lift the hips and rock your weight front to back. This does not feel good on your wrists. You can use your knuckles. And you don't need to lift your hips also. You can just kind of move it around with your hand. I like this aspect, but find how it works for your body. Let's do both sides. And rock your weight front and back. And we'll do the hamstrings. So right in the middle could be good and just leaning forward. Or again, you can do that rocking all the way up to your butt, down to just above the knee. If you find a place that's particularly good, you might just hang out there. And what you can do with your uh, thigh is take your forearm and give a little rub to your quad muscle. And the IT band. Let's try the other side under the hamstring. So experiment because everybody's body is different, you might discover something that works particularly well for you or feels really good for you, all the way from the buttock down to the knee. If you have a foam roller, this can also work really well with a foam roller. So if you wanna just find a place to hang out and then use your forearm on your quadricep muscle, Get both at once. And get into the IT band a little with your elbow or forearm. Okay, now we're gonna put this at the back. This is my favorite. This is what I use it for most often. So I like to start right at the upper back where I can control my weight and then let it down gently. So this may be too intense for you. If it's too intense, don't do it or try something else instead. But I can lift my hips and then roll 
the balls up and down those erector muscles. Now anywhere along the way, I might pause and just hang out. So this is a little bit like a supported fish when it's at the upper back. You can find different places, maybe rock side to side a little bit, all the way up to the shoulders, all the way up to the neck. You can even place it right at the base of the skull and hang out, letting the weight of your head release or a little shifting around to massage those muscles back there or those points. And again, explore. You could turn your head and get a little bit of the side of the neck or head. You can bring it back under your back and roll all the way down your spine. Pausing anywhere along the way. Can even bring it all the way, sort of sliding out of the screen. <laughs> Can bring it all the way down to the buttocks. And then it can be a little bit like a supported bridge. So I, there's this point right at, at my sacrum that feels really good for me. You might bring your knees up or legs up. Again, if it's too much, don't do it. What feels good for me might not feel good for you. You might make something else up that really works for your body. The point is to experiment, explore. And the place that I like it, probably best of all, is right up at the upper back between the shoulder blades. Okay, let's do a little foot massage and then we'll come onto our backs and do some facial massage. So if you want to sit comfortably in a chair or cross-legged, if you have something you want to sit up on, go ahead and do that. And just bring one foot in your lap and give it a good squeeze. You can explore different parts of your foot. If you don't have socks on, you might thread your fingers through your toes and just do a little circle both directions. Make sure to get your ankle, heel. You can work your way up your calf, shin. And we'll do the other side. Good firm pressure or play around and find the amount of pressure you like. Could give your toes a little pull, pop. Might interlace your fingers between your toes and give them a little circle. Can go all the way up to your ankle, your calf and shin. And then let's uh, make our way onto our backs. We'll come into a symmetrical, relaxed position and do a little facial massage, forearms and hands, and then a little relaxation. So I love a couple blocks under my thighs. It really helps my lower back relax. If you have them, you might do that. You can also use cushion or blanket or bolster if you want to cover up in any way. We're going to rub the palms together, getting some heat and energy in the hands, and then place the palms over the eyes, sealing out the light, and letting the eyes not only close, but relax. Letting the backside of your body release into the support underneath you. 
Keeping eyes closed and relaxed, bring your fingertips to the center of the forehead and start to rub from the center of the forehead towards the temples. And then you can come back to the center, spread towards the sides of the face. And then keep coming back to the center and spreading. And if you find a tender spot, you might hold it with steady pressure, little circles. You can use fingertips or thumbs. Find the amount of pressure that feels useful, good, interesting for you. And then bring your fingertips to either side of the nose, pressing into the sinus area. Pressing and spreading towards the sides of the face. You can follow your cheekbone all the way to the side of the face where your jaw connects to your skull, finding that hinge joint just under your ear. All around there can be so tight, the strong jaw muscle. Ah. Little pressure points under your ear. You might give your earlobes a squeeze or pull. And then work your way along your jawline, giving your pinch, your chin a little pinch or press. And then take the heels of the hands, and make a couple big circles, massaging the cheeks into the cheekbones and teeth. And then go back over any area that need a little extra work. You could also give your scalp a rub like a dry shampoo. If you ever get headaches, I just love this for relieving tension in my head. And maybe the neck and shoulders, a little squeeze. When you finished with your face and head, smooth out your face. Imagine you just washed your face and you're wiping away the water, wiping away any last bit of tension. Shake it out of your hands. And then let's give the forearms and hands a little rub after all that work. Good, nice squeezing all the way from your elbow to your hand. And the hand has so many places, the space between your thumb and first finger. You can squeeze each finger like you're squeezing a tube of toothpaste. Getting the wrist. Do both arms, starting with the forearm, all the way from the elbow to the wrist. all the different parts of your hand. There's a nice pressure point between your thumb and first finger if you have a headache. That's also a good one for that. <sighs> and if you like, you can finish with a little belly rub. You can go in a clockwise circle following the direction of digestion. And then just check in with the rest of your body. Is there anything else needed? Is there anything else you want to do to be even more comfortable, relaxed? We'll just take a couple moments in silence and stillness. You can let go of the control of your breath. 
Let the weight of your body just release back. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and toes, and gently waking your body up again. You can move your wrists and ankles, and then take a big stretch out long through your arms and legs. When you're ready, bring your knees in. Roll to one side, and then use your hands to help you up to sitting. And come into a comfortable cross-leg position. Bring hands together at the heart. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Thanks, Michelle, for the inspiration for that video. If you have other requests for classes, tutorials, talks, please let me know. Happy to use it as inspiration for my next shoot. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>